Hi, do you want to send customized bulk emails automatically to your clients or people in your organization? If yes, then let's learn how to do it using Microsoft's Power Automate platform. You won't need any coding skills or any other prerequisites and you'll be able to do it under 10 minutes. Let's get started. The very first thing you need is an online Excel sheet that contains at least one table containing the email addresses to whom you want to send the emails. Additional information related to the email address may be added in as many columns as you wish. Just for an example, I've made a table in a file named emails and have entered names, email addresses, physical addresses, and products which a particular client wishes to purchase. Now I want to automatically send emails to all clients that we have received their orders and their product shall be shipped to their address immediately. That's all we need from the Excel sheet. Now let's go to the Power Automate page. On this page select to create a new flow and select Instant Cloud Flow. On the Flow Creation page select Manually Trigger a Flow and name it appropriately. Click on Create to create a blank flow. In the blank flow, click on New Step and select Excel Online Business because we want to fetch information from an Excel sheet. Under the options of Excel sheet, select List Rows Present in the Table because we want some information from the rows of a table present in an Excel sheet. After that, you must specify where the Excel sheet is and which table you want to use. After that, click the new step to add another step and select control and then apply to each. In the field, select the dynamic content as value so that action is applied to each value of the table. After this, you must specify the action you want to take. We want to send an email. Therefore, click on the add an action button and search for email. You'll see multiple options for sending the email, that is you can send email through Gmail account, your Outlook email account, or any other email platform. For example, if you want to send email from your Outlook account, you should select Send an Email V2 Office 365 Outlook. This will allow you to enter the email address to which you want to send the email and other things as well. However, I'm going to send emails through Learning Orbis Gmail account, therefore I'll cancel it and select Gmail account for sending the email. Search for the email and select Gmail to get the actions related to Gmail only. Under the actions, select Send Email V2 Gmail. For the very first time, you must authorize Power Automate to use the Gmail account for sending or receiving emails. So, click on Sign In and authorize the Gmail account. After successful authorization, an email-like structure will open and you can select different options. In the first field, you must specify the email address where you want to send the email. These addresses will come from the email column of the table of the Excel sheet, therefore select email. Then in the subject, I want to write hi followed by the name of the client, therefore I'm selecting name column of the Excel sheet. Then in the body of the email, you can write anything you want and use the information from the table as you like. So, I'm writing greetings followed by the name of the client, therefore, I'm selecting name column from the table. After this, I've written this statement and have used the product and address columns from the tables at appropriate places. You can attach files or add CC or BCC to email as well from these options, but I'm going to leave these for now. That's it. I just must save this flow and test it to see whether it's working or not. Click on test and it will take a second to log in into your Gmail account and a green tick will show it have successfully done it. Now click on continue and then we must manually activate the flow because we selected manually trigger a flow at the start. Therefore, click on run now and the flow will run. You'll get a notification that your flow ran successfully and a green tick besides every step means the step has been completed successfully. Now let's go to the email accounts which I've entered in the Excel sheet to see whether we have received the emails or not. So, 
Here's the first email account, and you can see we have received an email from Learning Orbis. Check the subject. It contains the name of the client, and if you open it, you can see the customized email message. The email message contains the name, address, and product of the client. Now we should go to the other email account to see whether we have received a different email over there or not. So, the other email account that I've entered in the Excel sheet was linked to the Outlook account, and somehow my Outlook has classified the email as junk, and here you can see that I've received the email with a different subject, and the body of the email now contains name, product, and address of this client. So, learners, you can have as many rows in the Excel table as you like, and with just running the created flow once, you can send customized emails to all the entries. The entries of the table may further be automatically populated from the information coming from Microsoft Forms or any other means. Check out my earlier video where you can gather information from Microsoft Form automatically into an Excel sheet. So, there are numerous ways in which you can expand on the things I've shown you today. If you have any questions, I'm always available through YouTube comments and email. Thank you and take care.